Hi, you have probably noticed that uh, my channel is called Borish Tavarish Shipitkov. I have been asked a few times how it got this name. That's why I have decided to make this short video explanation. Initially, it originated from the Russian letter She. Its transliteration looks bizarre and fairly spooky. SHCH. And it is only in English. French and German variants look even worse. As a tour guide, I often have to introduce myself using my first and last names, and they are Alexander Shipetkov. This unfamiliar sound, she, draws attention of foreigners, and I suspect that they try to remember me by this strange sound. At least border patrol officers always ask me to pronounce my last name several times. Tavarish. Tovarish. This was a common form for addressing people in the USSR, colleagues regardless of gender, bosses or any strangers for that matter. I am from the Soviet times and probably if I was born a little bit earlier, I would have been called Tavarish Shipitkov. Also, my interest always been rotating around the Soviet history, study and demonstration of the Soviet legacy and it's in all its representations. Therefore, I constantly have to talk about the fate of different Tavarishes and their influence on the country and the, and the world. By the way, uh, this word Tavarish has another connotation, it means mate. And Tavarish, this sound again. Shh. Travel to Russia is always associated with culture, history, and cuisine. Russian cuisine is famous and appreciated. Uh, there are also many stereotypes about it. Borsh, do you hear the sound again? Although it is rather an Ukrainian dish, it is one of these delicious stereotypes. My guests are eager to try it at least once. Being half Ukrainian myself, my mom is from there, I can see the borscht as a part of my heritage. And of course, I have my own family recipe of borscht. At some point, as they say, the pieces of the puzzle came together. Borscht, Tavarish, Shipetkov. Something like this.